In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom header and footer for your WordPress website if you're using Elementor. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I release a ton of content to help you get better results with WordPress faster. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button and the links to everything I talk about in this video will be linked in the video description down below. So something new came out for Elementor today. Now it's only for Elementor Pro. Now if you head over to Elementor Pro's website, Let's just go over first how much this darn thing costs. It's included if you already own Elementor Pro. Scrolling down, here we go. Uh, $49 for a single site, uh, $99 for three sites, and $199 for unlimited websites. And essentially, this is a companion for Elementor, the free WordPress page builder for WordPress. And it's going to give you lots of new features. One of those new features was announced today, and I've been playing around with the beta for a few days. And essentially what they just released was to, uh, the ability using Elementor Pro to create navigation menus. Now it might seem like a small thing, but this is actually a huge thing because what we're seeing happen is page builders being able to create anything for your website with them. And that is the direction that I've been hinting around that Elementor is going. It's been obvious. The writing has been on the wall. A few months ago, they released the ability to create coming soon pages and maintenance mode pages. That was the first indication. Then they released a, a way to, and a feature to add login pages, login forms to your website. And now we're seeing that you can build navigation menus for your WordPress based websites. And I've got to say, I'm going to link to this, of course, below. Everything's going to be linked down below, but this has got to be the most amazing navigation menu widget builder I have ever seen. And, you know, a few months ago, I reviewed a theme called the X Pro theme, and that was really the first theme that came out that had a header builder, a header and footer builder. And I was really harsh on it because they made it way overly complicated. And that's the thing I love about using Elementor is is it's not complicated to use once you get used to it. And as they keep adding new features and functionality to it, you don't have to re-go through this steep learning curve because you already know how to use Elementor. If you know how to use Elementor, you're going to know how to use whatever they add to it. And that's the same thing with this new menu builder, and it's pretty amazing. I'm going to just scroll through the blog post here to give you an indication of what it can do, and then I'm going to show you how to use it on your particular WordPress-based theme. So you've got this video here. I suggest you watch. Ben from Elementor created it, and it's very revealing of all the features that come with this builder. Now here is an example of it. You see, I love these little motion uh, GIFs, by the way, I should start adding them to my website, but you see right there, you've got full control over the hover effects right there. And you can do different uh, types of navigation menus. You can have it be a vertical or horizontal navigation menu. You can also have it be where there's a hamburger icon, you click on it and then it reveals the menu. Now there's all these pointer animations and that's what happens when you hover over the different menu items and you can see them right here. They're all categorized right here. There's no sense in me even actually showing you this other than to reference this page because this is where you're going to see what everything does and I love it. I, I really love everything that's happening. So there's two different things. There's the, if you notice right here, it's the way the animation happens. So fade, slide, grow, drop in, drop out. And then the different types of animations right here, uh, you could see them right here for the framed animations. Uh, overline and underline, uh, there's just it just keeps going on. There's so many different ways to make this look exactly how you want it to look on your website and make your website look how you want it. So, um, and then you have full control over the spacing, which is pretty huge as well. I tell you, prior to this, if you want to customize your menu, say that comes with your theme, it is so tedious and such a hassle. But now with Elementor, you can use the page builder that you already know how to use in order to uh, change the spacing, the colors, the animation, every single thing you could want to do to a menu, you can easily do now with Elementor. You can even have sub menus right there. All the colors are controlled. Uh, you can put, uh, you saw right there momentarily, there was like a pill background. You could, you could do anything with this. It's just so amazing. Okay, so now you're probably looking at this and it's actually good to also look through the comments 
comments. But now you're probably thinking, this is great, but my theme has its own menu system. How do I use this in my theme? And I'm going to share with you right now. So there are two ways to do it. So number one, there is a plugin by the makers of the Astro theme called Header Footer Elementor. Now what this is, is a free plugin that you can install on your website. Now your theme has to support it. Now luckily right here they've made documentation to that you could actually send to your theme provider if it doesn't support it and say hey can you support this or can you tell me what I need to do in order to make this work on the theme I'm using that you're the developer of. You can just send them this link and this will be linked down below as well and this will be some simple instructions for them to add support for this plugin and here is the plugin right here. Now here are the list of supported themes of course Astra they make Astra so Astra is one of the supported themes generate press Genesis Beaver Builder and Ocean WP now obviously you probably wouldn't use the Beaver Builder theme if you're an Elementor user but there's support for that as well anyway now using this plugin couldn't be any easier and I'm going to show you that in this video now the second way is if you just want to so this way you're going to be able to create your entire header right you're going to be able to put a logo in there calls to action navigation menu buttons whatever you want that's the ideal situation now if you just want to swap out the navigation menu that your theme has for what you're now able to create in Elementor you're gonna to have to use something a little more complicated and that's called hooks so you'll need a theme that has support for hooks and an easy way for you to put those hooks in I know all the themes on this list do have that Astra though it's the theme is free and the ability to add hooks is free as well I am going to make a video that is more newbie friendly on hooks what they are how to use them but that video is not out just yet just know that's the second way to just use this menu option with your theme now before I actually show you using this plugin on your theme I do want to give you a little caveat I really think that this is almost going to be something that you only temporarily need and that's because if this new release is any indication within a period of time, whether it be a month, two months, by the end of this year, I'm pretty sure and I'd be willing to bet my money on it that with Elementor, you're not going to need this plugin. You're going to be able to build the entire header with Elementor, not just the menu, the entire header. I'd be willing to bet money on that, that that is coming. So you can use this for now and then in a few months or so, if they release it, when they release it, you can go ahead and just swap it out. It'll be very easy to do. But I never recommend waiting till something is out or a better way because you're going to find out that you're waiting for a better way all of the time. So it's best to just jump in now and use this header footer Elementor plugin. So to add it to your website, just go appearance, I'm sorry, plugins, add new, do search for a header footer Elementor. It's going to pop up, do the installation and the activation. Then under appearance, there's going to be this this new option that says header footer builder and it couldn't be easier to use guys so what you do here is you go here click on add new and you can name it whatever you want probably just header or footer would be just fine so I've gone ahead and created this one that says header now what you want to do is right here where it says Elementor header footer options you want to choose whether what you're creating right now is the header or the footer and that's it the minute you assign it header then it's going to go and be active and that's going to be the header on your website then all you have to do is click on edit with Elementor and it's going to pop right up now I've actually already dragged and dropped in the uh, element there the new nav menu ele uh, element now this is not going to be a tutorial on every single option with this new menu building system and that's because there's probably going to be a bunch of videos coming out on that and and I don't think I'm going to be able to do a better job than what Elementor does. So that's why I'm doing something a little differently. So probably what you're going to want to do is uh, add some columns. So you can just drag and drop the columns in. We could toss a logo in here. We can toss a nav menu in here. So if I want to do a logo, I would just go here and I would uh, choose the, choose the uh, image option right here. Now I think I might have some of these like default logo looking things here. How about this? Um, yep, that looks fine. I'm going to 
to go ahead and insert it and there we go now I'll probably want to left align this like that and we have all this extra space so I'm gonna resize my column like that now uh, actually here let me do something a little more different uh, let me go ahead and add a column so now we have these three columns I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna go like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put my nav here in the menu or in the middle so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it in it's the new pro element right here and it is called nav menu drag and drop that in now the first thing you're gonna to want to do before you start doing all this is actually create a menu in WordPress it basically pulls from that which is a very good thing so I have created a menu I just actually threw it together and so all your menus will be listed here I'll go ahead and select it and and then boom there is my menu now I'm going to show you a couple little tips and tricks here with alignment and making this look great on a mobile device so one of the things that I like to do is go into one of the column settings like this and you would click on it and it says edit column now one of the things I like to do is modify this content position so this is the alignment vertically I don't whether you want it everything on the top or the bottom or centered so for me I like everything centered so I will go here and I'll choose middle and you should notice now everything's going to be aligned perfectly in the middle there and there we have it so um, let me go ahead and save that now I think what I want to do right here is I, I think I want to throw a button in so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the button element right here now let me make all three of these elements centered so I'm gonna go into this column I'm gonna change the content position the middle I'm gonna go into this column and I'm gonna make the content position middle and there we go everything's just perfectly middle so let me go ahead and take this button and I'm gonna right align it like that actually let me go center that might look a little better and we have a, a fully customized header where you've got this button on the right and this is actually a very modern header where you have the logo the nav over there on the left and then you toss some kind of a button on the right so let me go ahead and click and show you just some of the options that you're getting with this nav menu like I said it's best to refer to the blog post if you want to see the variety of pointer options and animation options uh, but we have basically you can customize every Everything on this on this uh, uh, plugin here when you go here and you scroll down this will probably be the best guide of what you can and cannot do with it so let me go back here and let me just go ahead and click on save just in case let's take a quick look at it by going like this and we have it right there and I, I think this looks great so far if you want to get some elements closer we could just uh, change the spacing there now what you're gonna want to do and it's very crucial that you do is you have to run this through what it's gonna look like on a mobile device okay so what we want to do is click right here on the bottom left and choose mobile now this does not look good at all and I'm gonna show you how to tweak it now and so what I would probably want to do is I would want this and this on the same line and then I probably don't want this button there so I'm gonna hide that on a mobile device so let me go back actually here I can start tweaking all that right now so I'm gonna click on the button I'm gonna to go to advanced and then right here there's going to be on the responsive option there's these hide on options so I'm gonna actually hide that on the mobile device and I'm probably gonna go hide on tablet at all so this is how I want it to look I only want that button when I'm on a desk the desktop actually I'm not sure why it's still showing there but that's all right so now we want to get these two items right here on the same line and then we probably want to align this hamburger icon off to the right and this is actually one of the best features of Elementor is they give you total control of that so what you want to do is you want to go into the different column settings for this column and this column so I'm gonna click right here and then right here it says column width and this is actually where we want it and it's in terms of a per percentage so right now it's taking up the full width but we're gonna make it take up less width so we could say make this take up 70% and you see now we've got this opening here to push this column in so if I made this 70% I just need to make this column 30% so when I click on this and then I enter 30 like that you can see now they are on the same line now probably what I want to do is I want to click on this 
and oops, I actually don't want to click on it, click on it. And what I want to do is I want to make it right aligned. Now let's see how that works. So if I go to mobile drop down, here is where the specific mobile settings for the navigation menu will be. So I don't want to change it right here. I want to change it on the mobile drop down options. So right here where it says a, a toggle align, I'm going to make this go to the right. And there it is. That is the navigation menu that I am after. So let me go back to the desktop and you can see it's like this. And then when I go to the mobile device, it's like that. This should hide. I don't know why it's actually not hiding in preview, uh, but that could be just how it is and that's okay. So this is how it should look on a mobile device. And we're gonna actually test that right now. All right, so I'm gonna go back to desktop. Now, obviously there's a ton of options here. I didn't really go over them at at all you can reference that post if you wanted to there's so many different style options uh, you can make this look exactly how you want it to look so let me go ahead and click on save now I've already assigned it to be the header in that header footer elementor so when I click on refresh right here it should show that new header right there where I have the logo and I've got the menu right here and then I have this button. Now what I'm going to do, I'm making this video in Chrome, but in Safari it has this really cool way of testing websites on different devices. It's one of their developer tools and it's right here. So you can see what a website looks like on various different devices. So you can see what I was going after was that button wouldn't be there. And so, oops, actually that's not what I want. And so this is now what it looks like like on a mobile device, I could probably play around with the padding a little and pull that up, but I wanted you to see how you don't see this column or that button on the mobile device, which is what I didn't want. So when we test the uh, toggle right here for the menu, you can see everything's kind of scrunched in the side, and that's because there's one setting that I needed to enable that I didn't. Let me go back to Chrome. Here we are. There's this option here that says full width under mobile dropdown. So what this is going to do is when it's the mobile option, it'll take up the full width, not be stuck in that little 30% or whatever that I set it as. So if we we enable this and then click on save I should be able to go back and do a quick refresh and that should work properly so now when I go there it is you can see it right there it is actually perfect this is exactly how I would want it um, so anyways this is the new menu navigation for Elementor Pro if you don't have Elementor Pro it's a great time to purchase it I do have a link in the video description and I also have a little promotion bonus I like to do I created an entire extensive course on Elementor and I like to give that to people for free when they purchase Elementor through a link I'll have a link that will give you all the information on that down below and I know in this video I didn't go into every little detail if there's any uh, tips and tricks that you discover using this menu navigation that I did not include in this video I'd love for you to add it to the comment section down below and also let me know what you think of this new navigation menu builder I'm pretty impressed by it I'm kind of blown away by it but I'd like to hear what you think about it hey thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one